so here we have a question about related rates. So given an equation of a circle, so x squared plus y squared oops, equals 100, or I'm going to write this as 10 squared, what is the value of the derivative of dy dt at the time when the uh, particle is at the point 8 comma 6 when a particle is moving around a circle? Um, and so here I've graphed out a circle that fits this equation. The, um, the center of the circle is at 0, 0, since there are no uh, terms uh, with either the x or y's. And the radius is 10. Um, and so I'm going to now plot this point 8, 6 on the circle, just so we have an idea of what this looks like. So 8, 6 is right here. And so the question says that at this point in time, when, this, when the point is here, um, it is, its derivative in the x direction is 5, right? So its, its speed at this point in time going left and right is 5. And so we want to find its speed going up and down at this time. Well, that sounds like a derivative to me. So let's take uh, derivatives of this equation using related rates, uh, remembering to take the derivatives with respect to time. So x squared, because, oh, let's um, get a smaller pen here. So x squared derives down to 2x, but that's not it. We also need to have the derivative uh, times the derivative of x with respect to time, because x is not the function that we're deriving uh, with respect to here. Uh, plus, same thing for the y, that's 2y dy dt, because y is not the function we're deriving with respect to. And I should make this clear that that's a t on both of these and not an x. And then 100 just gets derived down to 0. So we have that 2x dx dt is equal to negative 2y dy dt. And so if we're trying to find what the value of dy dt is at this time, well, the 2s will cancel. And we can plug in values for x and y. So let's do that. So we have that x is equal to 8. So 8 dx dt is 5 equals negative y is 6 times dy dt. And now we just divide everything over. And so at this point, we have that 40 divided by negative 6 is equal to dy dt. So 40 divided by negative 6, uh, that's going to be equal. Oops. Uh, that's going to be equal to negative 20 thirds is equal to dy dt. And let's just make sure this makes sense. So a particle moves around the circle in the xy plane for some time. Now we don't know which direction this point is going around the circle, but we can have a guess. So, or not even a guess, we can figure it out. If the, if the, the, the particle is moving five in the x direction at a certain time, well, if it were moving this way, the particle at this point on the graph is moving left, so it would be a negative value, but it's not. The x value of the point is moving five at a speed of five in, you know, which was positive, so it's going this direction at this time, which means that our dy dt had better be negative because the point is moving uh, clockwise, so at this point, the point is moving down with respect to y, um, which it clearly is here. So this is, in fact, our answer.